In this video, we're going to be talking about how to change the color of any object other than white or black to white or black. Seems interesting. In my previous video, we talked about how to change a white object to a black one and vice versa. That was a completely different thing with a completely different method. This is completely different and easier, much easier I would say because this doesn't require much of a selection. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's try some new stuff. <laughs> So here we are in the exciting interface of Photoshop and we have with us a beautiful girl in a red dress. Now what if you want to convert that red dress into a black one, maybe to match the hair color or something maybe. That doesn't make sense but let's do it. So the first thing that you have to do is to create a layer. Which layer? An adjustment layer. Which adjustment layer? Guess what? Hue saturation? No. Selective color? No. Black and white adjustment layer. What? Black and white adjustment layer? Let's go ahead and create it. Now let's close it. We don't need the settings right now. What we want to do right now is to darken the red color to black. Okay, we don't want to lighten it to white. We want to darken it to black. So change the blend mode, which you might not use that otherwise is not much popular blend mode to darken. Okay, now let's open up the properties of the black and white. Okay, double click on this opens up the properties. We don't want to darken any other color save for red. Okay, so to be on the safer side, just brighten up everything. This takes everything to normal. If you just take every slider to 300, the image becomes as it is. Watch. Off, on, off, on. It's as it is. But double click on the properties and start reducing the reds. Watch what happens. Watch. This starts changing. Now this is not completely red. A little bit of magenta is also mixed to it. So. We have to find out a perfect spot, a happy place where it perfectly looks black. It's fine up to this point. There you go. Let's decrease the magenta just a bit. Red just a bit more. There you go. Isn't this looking nice? Let's zoom in and let's look at the color. It's kind of purple. Let's try decreasing it even more. Now it's kind of black. Let's try increasing red. No. Now this is perfect black, but you might have already guessed parts of her face have also decolorized. You know why? Because they contain a red in it. We don't want them to be affected. So what do we do? We create a mask and we just affect this particular area. You don't have to have a perfect selection. All you have to do, you have to select this mask. Okay. Controller command I makes it completely black, removes the effect from all over the image. Now what is a mask actually? Now when it is black, the effect is applying nowhere. The places where you paint white, the effect only applies to that particular places. So take a brush, make sure the foreground color is black and just paint over the dress. Watch. The effect is applied just over the dress. Now you don't have to have a perfect selection. You can just spill out a little because the red things are there here. They're up here. They're separated. They're not here. Okay, down here. Okay, let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Wasn't that amazing? If it was, let's move on to the next example. And this time, let's do something more challenging. Obviously, you will have easier images, but if I show you challenging images, editing those easier images will be a breeze. So we have another red dress lady and we have to make it white this time. But this is more challenging because we have a lot of other reds in the image. Okay, so the same thing, create an adjustment layer of what? black and white. Then change the blend mode to what? Not darken. This time we are making it white from red. So opposite of darken. This area, as you can see, this area is just for darkening. Darken, multiply, color burn. Every blend mode here just darkens, does nothing. Every blend mode in this area just lightens. Lightens, screen, color dodge, it just lightens. So Adobe has thought a lot before categorizing these blend modes. So we will choose lighten. Okay, let's open up the properties and if all the sliders were at minus 200, the image would go normal, just as the opposite of darken. Okay, now this time we just need to lighten the reds. Now, let's try moving the red slider to the right. Okay, now it's going white, it's going white, now this is looking fine. Now there's a couple of things that's not going white, have a look. These things, these are not looking right, do they? So let's try two different sliders. Magenta also. Okay. You have to play with this. You might have to 
try yellow see anything you want to change a color you might have to adjust the sliders which are around that color for example you want to change the greens so sometimes with greens you might have to move yellows and cyans okay always the sliders around that color not totally opposite to it okay magenta is close to red now you might say no magenta is very far from red but that's not the case think of this in terms of a spectrum which is continuous okay after magenta again red comes again yellow comes again green cyan blue magenta again reds so reds and magentas are close reds and yellows are also close let's try increasing it now it's looking great let's try combination always try combinations not too much magenta here now this is somewhat acceptable have a look now this is looking real but here's the thing because a lot of things were red we have affected a whole lot of crap out of the photo let's take a before and after so before and after this has totally destroyed the photo so here's what we would do we would go to this mask same stuff control the command i and take the brush and this time do it carefully just do the outlines first fill it up later just remember the time when you were a little kindergarten student and your teacher taught you just fill up the outlines first and then fill up the areas which are inside it, okay? So you might have to zoom in, might have to do it properly and if you want to work with selections, you can do that as well but you don't have to do much of a selection, just a little bit of it. There we go, I think we have done it. Let's look at the before and after, so. Uh, let's zoom out and look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Isn't this nice? Suppose, if you think some of the areas you have spilled out a little, you can always go back to the mask, press X, this time select the black color and select, just paint over the areas that you have spilled over accidentally. Maybe this area, okay? Just a little here, press X again and fill out the critical areas again. So, there you go, you get the idea, right? So this is the before. This is the after. Now you might be thinking, we are so much dealing with red. Let's deal with some other color. Okay, let's try dealing with some other color. Let's open some other images using our Pexels Photoshop plugin. So all you have to do, Windows, Extensions, Pexels and search for photos. So suppose I will just import this one. So I'll click on it and it automatically downloads into my Photoshop and as layers. Isn't this amazing? Okay, all right. So this time also the same thing. Do the same. Create a what adjustment layer? Black and white adjustment layer create that and we want to make the shirt black maybe so darken it and when you darken it when every slider is to the right everything goes normal okay you want to darken the blues let's go ahead let's do it now this is not looking natural try the seans with it now this is looking better try the magenta no magenta is not helping just the blues and the seans okay all right let's go ahead and let's try different values of it you have to try different combinations and there you go isn't this beautiful all right so this is before this is the after again you might have to paint again why just look at the background some of the blues in the background has also been affected before watch the blue cast has been affected so do the same thing mask you know how to do that right so that's pretty much it for the video hope you enjoyed it and if you did Make sure to give us a like and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one with some more cool awesome tips, tricks and tutorials. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.